Hi, so I've been talking about doing some kind of a hydro, very, very simple hydro solution in the brook. Um, and this is what I'm going to use for a wheel. It's the inside of a, of a tumble dryer. Um, uh, stainless, uh, round, kind of wheel shaped, kind of 50, no, less. It's about 40 centimetres for 400 mil wide. Um, so I think probably quite a good candidate um, and so uh, yeah so I um, just need to work out a way of mounting this on a on an axle um, I'm thinking at the back end there at the back end we've got a, a plate here that I can take off and replace with a wooden part um, uh, to uh, provide an interface and I can I can bolt through these some of these holes to fix it on no problem that side um, this side, I think I'm picturing some kind of a wooden cross, um, cross-shaped wooden member in there to um, to to support an axle on this side through the centre. Um, so that's all good. Uh, it looks to me like the wheel may be made in two halves and secured together using these plastic paddles. Um, I, I guess that's um, to be determined. It may not be in two parts, I'm not sure. But um, I'm, what I'm going to want to do is um, I want those paddles either gone or on the outside because we don't want, I mean, there's going to be water ingress inside here. So what we don't want is these paddles kind of sloshing around in the water to and, and, and absorbing energy that we really need because there won't be a huge amount coming off this thing. It's just a kind of a bit of a, Technology demonstrates a bit of a toy, really. Um, but, you know, we do have some 12 volt kit in the house, so, uh, you know, if it can sit there all winter, just uh, trickling power into our batteries, then that would be uh, just nice. You know, it's nice, it's fun to do these things. Um, it's not like I haven't got enough to do, bloody hell. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get on and look at whether how I can move those paddles and then um, I'll bring it back in. Well, that was incredibly hard work. Um, the inside diameter of that part of the bearing is supposed to be 20 mil and the outside diameter of this is supposed to be 20 mil and I did measure it and they're both about pretty much 20 mil. In fact, the tube is supposed to be a bit um, shy of 20, but it really didn't want to go in there. So I had to kind of drift it in. I mean, this central part here is one uh, continuous piece of material so I can uh, I could apply some force to the uh, to that that part I think without damaging the bearing so I don't think this tube's coming out now uh, so I'll have to well that's fine I'm gonna thread it through the wheel to the other side and um, possibly uh, do the same thing on the other side drift drift it on uh, uh, drift it on when it's when the axle's inside the wheel and uh, um, and uh, that'll be that I guess um, yeah I was worried about the tube being too small actually and uh, I was didn't have to worry about that for two reasons one it wasn't and two um, there are actually some grub screws there that you could use to um, to uh, um, to to sort of secure it if it was a little bit smaller than the diameter of that. I might even try, once I've cut it down to length, I might try um, kind of quote unquote machining it down a bit. So if I can spin it and um, and use some um, paper wet and dry or something to, to, to grind it down just enough to make it not such an incredibly tight fit. But that is a proper interference fit there now. So there we go. Um, yeah, and as I say, I don't think it's coming out anytime soon but that isn't actually a major problem. So um, uh, that's that. So I'm just gonna crack on with us a bit of bits and pieces and then we'll come back to that when I need to do it. Okay. Okay, so I've started cutting my little scoops um, and uh, just sort of going, looking at it as I went along. There's one set of the pre-drilled holes there and there's another set there. Um, 
Now I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I know almost nothing about water wheels and I think it would always be a shame to find out. Um, but, so this is your, this is your water level. I'm kind of thinking it's a bit like gear teeth. It would be good to have one bucket engaged before the second one has uh, left. If we rotate the wheel, essentially by moving the water line. Um, yeah, you've got that bucket pretty much fully in and this one's just starting to 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 pick up so I don't know I just I think that looks like quite a good arrangement um so they're not I don't, I don't get the sense that the I guess what you don't want is this scoop impeding the release of the water from this one so yeah I think that I don't want to be greedy you know in terms of the amount of energy I'm trying to extract because well, being greedy doesn't work in any, any sphere of existence, especially not this. So yeah, so I reckon that. So I'll have three three scoops on the the three uh, pre-existing holes and then two between each of those. So that will be nine in total. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I've just been cutting these. Annoyingly, the width needs to be 35, 350 mil. And I can't, I can't get that inside my bandsaw, so I'm having to do it by hand. But it's probably just as well because I think the bandsaw can be a bit aggressive and um, and uh, actually cause some shearing and cracks. And then I'll have to just, uh, God, start to make up some kind of metal metal fittings to um, sit across there. I have found that in my store of stuff, I've got a whole bunch of um, uh, M6 uh, stainless steel M6 bolts, nylock nuts and actually washers that have gotten dropped into the bottom of my drawer. So that uh, is a result, I think. So I'm going to, uh, um, I reckon a couple of bolts with a with a, a decent sized, um, some kind of support, I reckon that maybe a two or three, well, two, two or four bolts. I can't have three because I don't want to fire one through the middle of that plastic bit. So um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes, but maybe two bolts with some quite large metal pieces um, kind of being supporting the uh, supporting the scoop. So we'll see how we get on. Okay, so I went for uh, 15, no, 12 uh, in the end, not 9. 9 looked a little bit sparse and I was kind of thinking, because um, I'm not convinced as to how strong these um these buckets are going to be uh i kind of thinking um i kind of want more than as many buckets engaged at once as possible so that the, the load is shared and there's not like a shock loading uh when one picks up the water flow uh so yeah so 12 and it also kind of looks right i guess we've all seen a lot of water wheels in our time so um yeah that feels better so i've done 12 that was kind of the easy part. That's just cutting, guttering. But um, yeah, next I've got to do the uh, make up some metal bits to uh, use to bolt them down, which will be quite a lot of uh, cutting and uh, with the angle grinder and drilling. I suspect it's going to be two bolts per bucket, so I'm going to have to make 24 of these little parts, um, which is going to be pretty boring. So I probably won't show it. <laughs> so uh, there we go. So I've marked up around the uh, circumference, you can see there's a mark there, and a mark there, and one there, and one there. Uh, I, the uh, distance between them um, yeah, gets me 12 points, so I'm going to drill out um, that hole and that hole all the way around. And then I've been making up out of some old plastic parts that I've got, I've make, made up some kind of um, plastic pieces that will sit I can bolt through those and then through the bucket and probably put something similar on the other side I'll have to cut some more out of those they're all made out of spaces that came from an old a spiral staircase that I fitted in the house so I've got a whole bunch of them they they use them to change the uh, change the fall on the staircase the height on the staircase uh, I've got a whole load of them left over so quite good to reuse some old stuff like that so um yeah i'm going to do that it's going to be quite tedious there's a lot of drilling and a lot of uh, cutting and drilling and cutting and drilling again so i'll probably spare you that um and hopefully when uh the next thing you'll know is that there will be a load of buckets fitted to this uh this wheel but we will see
just for your interest and amusement, it does it does kind of fart. So, um, yeah, it will it will stay together. I think with the uh, the buckets will actually hold it together basically because they'll sit across the two. So as long as I push them together, make the measurements right, and draw the holes in the right place, it'll be okay. I think, but yeah, it might need to be reinforced, but we'll see. There we go. So I just suspect that might happen, but there we go. Okay, I need to do this quick uh, because my camera's about to, uh, my phone's about to run out of battery. So I've done it. Um, yeah, these are all secured. We've got plastic pieces on holding the uh, all the buckets on. Um, I took this um, part off. Here, she was um, secured there. Um, I can use that. Another one of these plastic pieces on the inside with a wooden piece on the outside. I can use this to to find the hole pattern, which is great. Um, make a hole for the axle, make a hole in the wooden part for the axle, and then we can take from there. So, yeah, pretty pleased with progress actually. Um, these are quite quite solid. I'll see if I can turn it over without making a massive racket. Oh God. There you go. And yeah, so there's the little parts on the inside, all made out of, so the whole thing's been made out of uh, scrap, apart from the bolts, which is, I think is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just listening to myself droning on, droning on in the previous video. I've just been editing this together. This is gonna, uh, I'm going to put this on the computer and then literally uh, post it out as soon as I can. So yeah, sorry for droning. I think it was um, Christmas really takes it out of me sometimes. So yeah, here we are. Um, uh, so the next step's really going to be trying to build up the wooden frame that this is going to sit in and how I'm going to fix it um, by the side of the stream. So apologies for rushing through this, but my phone's about to run out of battery and I really need to get this out. So um, yeah, I hope that was of some interest. Um, aircraft stuff will resume soon when the weather gets better and the workshop warms up. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you're all doing okay and thanks for watching if you have and uh, more and on. Thanks very much. Bye.